Welcome to another Wrestling is Real Podcast Extra. King of Podcasts here with you. Ratings. I don't make a big deal about this on the show, but you know what? Every Wednesday night, or actually every Thursday, I follow Twitter feed on Wrestling Twitter. And I cringe. And I just, you know, I smack my head sometimes. And I'm just trying to say to myself, man, some of the people that are on here, and the way they want to go ahead and just go back at each other for ratings. Oh, the WWE's won the ratings war. We won again. Oh, see, AEW's a bunch of fools or a bunch of thugs or a bunch of, you know, they're, they're has-beens, they're, they're NWO, they're WCW Nitro, you know, they're all these people that can't cut it. Oh, Cody and Young Bucks and all these other people, you know, oh, they're just a bunch of wannabes, right? We get all that. Oh, they got all these, this clown show, the carnival-like, you know, uh, indie riffic wrestlers out there, like they're not real wrestlers. They would never be able to cut in the major leagues. In the major leagues, right? And so the ratings war we've seen for Wednesday nights, it's been back and forth a little bit. I haven't looked at all the times in the year where NXT's won the ratings battle over AEW. We're going to count that real quick. I'm going to look at that right now. So if I look at here, I can see AEW started from January 1st into, what was it? Uh, it actually, it, it was a couple of spurts where NXT won the ratings. Where it was right before WrestleMania when it changed up. There we go, April 6th, because there was a time where AEW was winning the ratings war throughout. And we're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right, we'll move along, and then AEW lost for a couple of weeks, and then yeah, it was like three weeks in a row they lost, and then things turned around, and I think it's what been six weeks of the year that NXT's won the ratings war out of what twenty seven weeks or something like that, I think, right? And so yeah, these kind of things happen, and the thing is. WWE, in some of those cases, they've had major pay-per-views coming up or they've had takeover shows that are going on on, you know, on the show instead of having it on pay-per-view because of where things were on the network. And you also had a lot of stars that were coming in from the main roster to go ahead and also work on the NXT brand. So I'm not going to say anything against the fact that WWE wins the ratings war or not. But the fact that the ratings war is a concern for this company more than anything else, everybody's all really concerned about it and worried about it. And the fact that the fans that are real WWE-centric are so concerned about what's going on here and so they feel like they need to have me satisfied with being able to go and put down people. It's like, I don't want to say it's a cancel culture on AEW fans, but I feel like there's this thing where there's a defiance. Like there's just something where, you know, where wrestling Twitter wants to go ahead and put people as second-class citizens sometimes. Now, there are justifications. Speaking out has been one of those things where wrestlers have been called out for what they've been doing wrong, and yes, uh, justifiably so. But again, the AEW fans, you know, there are those that have also been very, like, they're resistant. Hey, you know, we're fighting for this and that. And I feel there's a bit of derangement on both sides of the aisle. I don't like this whole bickering back and forth. And how some people feel like they need to go ahead and just like put a couple extra barbs in. Let's go ahead and like, you know, let's uh, take a couple more jabs to make sure this week, hey, look at what we're doing. We're doing great. WWE, we're the big boys play, right? All this kind of stuff. And everybody's talking about that. But when it comes to the ratings, you know, to win or not to win Wednesday night should not matter for NXT. The other thing, too, is that for NXT to go ahead and be broadcasting themselves on Wednesday nights to go head-to-head, -head, you know, they didn't have to do that, right? Because if I'm correct, forgive me, correct me if I'm wrong, but NXT, after AEW was already planning to go ahead and run Wednesday nights, we heard about that, NXT decided to do the same thing. Or was it NXT that, NXT didn't say it first, right? AEW decided to do Wednesday nights, and the NXT, well, we're going to move it head to head. Take it off. Well, it already was a Wednesday nights in the first place. But then they said, well, we're going to take it off of the network, going to put it on regular TV, and we're going to make it live. So they said it all together. We're just going to go head to head against them because of the fear of Vince McMahon that AEW could be competition. 
Well, look, they're not. Okay? What they are is an alternative to watch wrestling on Wednesday nights. And NXT is an alternative from regular main roster wrestling that people are not really, might not be so happy about on Monday or Friday nights. That's all it is. Those two are different brands from what the real WWE product is. So NXT is a standalone with a little bit of main roster talent that comes up to help build the ratings a little bit. NXT does quite a bit of hot shot booking. They do. They put some matches up that really put things up. I mean, that's what they do on a regular basis. I don't know if you can say anything about counter-programming Fighter Fast with the Great American Bash. I don't know. But again, it's the booking that NXT does. And the way they have to position themselves to be so exciting, so exhilarating, so like super speed fast. Like there's a thing to be said of how they're putting their program together to kind of get people going on the watch. But then there's always certain things that get told that, you know, like the wrestling observers in the world, they always have to make mention of that. Well, NXT's crowd is always older than AEW's crowd because AEW's crowd is going after the money demo. NXT in some weeks don't hit the money demo. They actually 18 to 49 years old, uh, male or female, you know, persons 18 to 49, they're trying to hit, excuse me. I hit the uh, computer and they're trying to do that. They're trying to get people to go and get on board and enjoy but again, it's like, you know, it's still a great thing to see that we're getting roughly a million and a half viewers watching on Wednesday nights. Some of this is an alternative to the main product that we watch from Vince McMahon every week. What Triple H is doing, putting them together, which is just wrestling going up against wrestling. Pretty much the same thing. I can appreciate that. Other than that, you know, it's, uh, you know, I don't know why everybody's so caught up on it. It shouldn't matter. Again, Wednesday nights are an, what were not were an unoccupied night, and people thought, well, let's just go and both of these networks decided, or both of these brands decided, let's go and put the shows on, see what happens. So they did, and they also wanted to make sure they were not too close to wrestling on Monday nights or Friday nights. Wednesday night just sounded like a logical place for both of them, as a matter of fact. And so they did that. Now, TNT's president actually spoke out about it, and they says, you know, really the story is that um, NXT has topped AEW in total viewers several times. I think it was six times in the last year. I think that's what I said, right? Well, AEW has scored the higher rating on the 18 to 49 year old demo. So, on the battlefields, and this is from bleedingcool.com, on the battlefields of the comment sections, Reddit, and Twitter, People are right this moment fighting over which number is more important and accusing each other. And journalists like Dave Meltzer of bias and their emphasis of the key demo rating over total viewership. AEW president Tony Khan whipped fans into a frenzy when he posted a series of tweets declaring victory and the wrestling's rating wars based on the demo rating. It's just like an Eric Bischoff type move and people don't like it. You know, wrestling fans, WWE doesn't like people that are kind of like disruptors that kind of take away from their own brand. It's like, you know, there is something to be said to where people want WWE to be the top dog and there can't be anybody else. They do not want another war. They do not want another WCW to come into play for whatever reason. But again, I always talk about the fact that the ratings war is good because we're seeing both shows doing their best. Because here's the thing, NXT and AEW both put out great efforts regardless. Like, why do you want NXT to like blow away the competition because then NXT will eventually not do so well because both shows are ratings driven. Both shows are revenue driven. We want competition to be good. So if there's wins back and forth, that's a good thing. That means both products are doing well. They're actually getting something going on. Why don't people understand that? Twitter and Reddit and other places. But they don't. They choose not to for whatever reason. Now, the president of T Turner Networks, um, he says, quote, households are completely meaningless to our business. We sell demos. And almost every penny that we bring in on the Turner Entertainment Network comes from our democratic performance. And that's probably true of every, virtually every other basic cable network. And then the same thing was also said by Brad Siegel, who was president of Turner back in 2002. He says the most desirable demo. And... You know, they talk about how WCW always worried about the 18 to 49 demo as opposed to total viewers. 
And that's what goes on here. So everybody's talking about that. And again, it's just the same thing over and over again. I just want to make a point that it doesn't matter. Do we understand what matters more than anything else for wrestling? Is that ratings do well? Like, I like the fact that AEW causes some competition. But there's nobody going to go up against Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown for ratings, right? So the thing is, WWE right now, they're getting their ratings. Listen, look at what they're doing right now. They're not pulling in more than 2 million viewers at any given time as of late. They can if they book hard enough. But things have changed a little bit. And, like, you know, they're just trying to hold on with what they got. And the ratings have not done that well this year, but the pandemic has not helped much matters either. But, again, WWE, when it comes to their own product, the main roster is on their own. There is no direct competition from AEW whatsoever. It's NXT. And as far as I'm concerned, NXT will always continue to have their competition with AEW as long as these two shows are on Wednesday nights. And the fact they're fighting over each other makes both brands better. Anyway, Chip Marissa's Real Podcast coming up. Every Thursday morning, you can find it at WrestlingIsReal.com. You can also find the YouTube version right here on this channel if you're watching the show. In the meantime, come back for another Wrestling Is Real podcast. And also check out my When I'm Not Podcasting, where I do the Wrestling Is Real extras on this channel. Because wrestling needs us.